Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the constant comparative technique to analyze qualitative data. So the constant comparative technique is a strategy you can use when the data you are analyzing is narrative text. In this case, we are analyzing the transcription of the Knott's Berry Farm focus group discussion. But you could use this technique to analyze any sort of text. So for example, the dialogue in films or content in newspapers or comments in social media. The constant comparative technique is, uh, for the constant comparative technique, you're going to need a copy of the text or content that you will be analyzing. And it isn't critical that you have it available electronically like we do here, uh, but it does make it easier. In this case, we have the transcription, and I've made a copy of it so I don't have to worry about messing up the original by cutting or deleting something on accident. One thing I want you to note is that in this transcription, it starts off and there's all of the housekeeping and the introductions of uh, get, you know, getting the consent and all of that done. And so there's a lot of that going on before we dig into the actual main body of the transcription. Uh, and I want you to see that in this case, there are some headings added in. Uh, these headings weren't stated during the actual discussion, but they are the uh, topics that were identified on the original discussion guide set of questions. So in this case, they reflect the research objectives for the study. So not all discussion guides will be broken down into separate sections, but if they are, adding those section headings on it back into that transcription can be helpful for just guiding your analysis and keeping in mind kind of where that conversation was supposed to be headed. Um, so then once I have uh, the transcription kind of cleaned up, then I created my results analysis document. Now this is where I will start writing down the themes and trends and the comments that I'm seeing and then find quotes in the data to, data to support those themes. So I went ahead and added the section headings for the focus group on this document as well. I might end up finding some themes and trends that I don't feel fit nicely under these headings, uh, but at least it gives me a start on trying to organize things. So uh, now I'm going to go back into the transcription and before you get started uh, really doing any serious analyzing, you'll want to spend some time just reading through the data and mentally tracking some of the trends that you see. And then you can start jotting them down in your results document. So uh, when you look through, you really don't need to worry about analyzing you know, the confidentiality, informed consent, uh, icebreaker information. So you can see where the discussion really starts. And here we start uh, in this section. And the first thing that's listed is uh, if businesses want to give back and, and stay involved in their local community, what sort of things do you think they should be doing? Uh, so I want to see if we can maybe find some trends in terms of what, what, what people think businesses uh, should be doing to give back. So as I go through here, when I've looked through, one of the things that I saw uh, oftentimes is uh, people talking about wanting that they should give like, free, give, give things away for free and give discounts. Um, so that's the, one of the first things that I'm going to write here in the document. Oops, here's my original one. And so I'm going to write down right here. Uh, kind of this main heading area of topic that I saw. What should companies do to give back to the community? And notice that this is general right here. It's not even talking about parks yet, but for now I'll keep it under this heading. I, I may separate it out later. And the one thing I saw was free activities, um, free services and activities. And I'm going to bold those for kind of some headings for now. And then I'm going to go back into my transcription and look for things that reflect kind of that theme that I started to see. So right out the gate, for example, Jennifer says, reaching out to families in need or can't afford to pl go places like Disneyland and you maybe give them some vouchers or give them giveaways and things like that. So I'm going to mark this down. I'm going to put it 
back in here for free services. And let's see what else I can find. Next up, Crystal, any free activities or incentives? So I'll add that in here. Then I'll go back again. Uh, free, free as well. So when you start seeing respondents all saying the same thing, that, that suggests that it's something that's really resonating and it's a pretty powerful theme in your interview. So free, free. Notice that I am copying and pasting. I am not cutting and pasting these comments out. And I do that for two reasons. The first is that I, if you cut, start cutting things out, it's hard to follow the discussion. But also, because as you go through, you might find that certain comments reflect more than one theme. So you don't want to delete them out because uh, then you won't see them when you go back later. So always copy and paste into the new document. Don't cut and paste them into the new document. So, oh, more on free. Oh, two in a row, they're free. So I think I'm just going to copy both of those. Put them over here. Free. Go down on the next page. Uh, more, if it's a movie, buy one, get, get one free. So again, more discounts and promotions. Maybe I'll add that into my heading. Now, what I would want to do is go through the entire transcription to see if I keep finding some of these same themes for what uh, people think businesses should be doing uh, for the community. So you'd want to go all the way through, even though later sections may not be designed to really talk about that topic, you still want to look through and see if you're seeing some of the same, same themes come out. Uh, for now, I'm just going to stop there, but I want to look through and and once you even have several comments on a theme area, you want to see if there's any sub-themes within that area. So as I go through here, I see this first one talks about people that can't afford things. So uh, I'm seeing a trend in whether, if it's only one person saying it, maybe eventually I, I won't consider it a trend, but I'm just going to label it for now as giving uh, away services to uh, this, uh, and, and, uh, the people in need. I kind of like how it says people in need there. Maybe I'll use that. Anyway, services to people in need. So let me see if these, all of these kind of feel that same trend. Any free activities or incentives? Well, that's not really specific. Uh, I would say anything free as well. So just also we just go to Disneyland, maybe some discounts on food because having multiple kids and big families can get expensive. We're not just here for the rides, we have to feed them too. Yeah, free. That is fun. Discounts, activities, draw you in. Well, now, what I'm seeing here is now they're not just talking about maybe people that are uniquely in need or disadvantaged, but just just the regular, you know, customers that everybody is struggling a little bit. And that one way to give back to the community is by giving your customers discounts and free and, you know, making, you know, things a little bit more reasonable for them. I'm going to go through here and see if that continues. So depending on the company, like free is kind of my thing. The bounce houses, of course, free stuff, but coupons, reasonable prices, buy one, get one free, uh, drive the families there. So here they're talking about things that you can do really not just to give away to people that are uniquely disadvantaged. So I'm going to add that, that theme in here and just say um, discounts and free. Uh, 
for customers. Um, and I find that kind of interesting because I would I can't say this is what I would have expected right out the gate when when asking people what they think businesses should be doing to give back to the community. Um, I think I would have expected them to start talking about different charity work, uh, causes uh, that companies should be donating to and uh, helping address. So I'm not sure it would have occurred to me that discounts and giveaways to customers would that people would see that as giving back to the community. So that's why interviews can be so helpful. They can provide new insights or new perspectives. And I guess it makes sense um, that, you know, people feel like, hey, give, you know, you should give back to us. We're a part of your community. Um, but it's just not something I would have thought about. Uh, but it, it is something I think it's important to note and something that you might talk about with knots uh, in, in suggesting that they could frame discounts and giveaways uh, as giving kind of community thank yous or giving back. And it might be something that people would really appreciate and embrace um, in, in addition to other types of community outreach that they would do. So, uh, so let, that's just kind of an idea about how you take a, a, a larger idea, look for, find main themes, find sub themes. And what you do then is, again, you go through the transcription and you keep, just keep adding and finding new ideas and adding them in over here. So now you'll notice this is just a very rough draft with, with just short notes and it's gonna be very messy. But once you get everything kind of sorted here in a way that makes some sense to you, you can refine it a little bit more. You keep going through and refining it. And then um, you can articulate these things kind of in full sentences and explain the theme before you maybe pull out some of the quotes. You don't have to use all the quotes if you have eight quotes for a theme, you can just, you know, use two or three good ones. Um, but that's how you want to document your results. So please do take a look at the report examples in the lessons uh, and the materials this week that, that show you how to write up the, the results uh, in your reports. Um, this is just a working document that kind of gets you to that analysis. So uh, I hope that gives you a start. Uh, give it a try. And if you're, you have any questions about it, as always, uh, please feel free to uh, reach out and uh, let me know what I can do to help. Uh, so thanks for watching.